podcast is powered by Audio House Dublin. This, this is Max in the Trunk B roll. <laughs> Welcome back to the Monks in the Trunk podcast. Today we're here with Emek Akongo, yeah. who's just a fucking really interesting dude. Cheers for coming on. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, fucking welcome. Fucking. So what are we going to talk about? I wanted to talk about uh, Law of Attraction and Law shit. Law of Attraction. You know? Yeah. Yeah, because um, <coughs> without a doubt, like, th- the shit you want in life, you attract Yeah. through, like, I don't know how it happens. The universe just comes together and just makes shit fucking come together, you know? Yeah. That's what I believe anyway, like, positive energy, good energy bring stuff together you get me yeah. so like the way i see a law of attraction it's like a tree it's like a three-way process you have to think it you have to believe it then a manifest so like a perfect example when i think about law of attraction jim carrey like there's this gold cast of jim carrey so basically jim carrey you know jim carrey yeah. the guy that acted on dum dum and dumber so like yeah before he became this like multi-millionaire actor he used to like do comedy skits like in your local bar in your local pub and yeah. like he was a nobody so like after every comedy show like after every saturday on a comedy show he was sitting in his car and just start manifesting him like performing in like stadiums yeah, yeah, yeah. like acting in films and like hollywood films so like he gave himself a deadline like five years so like before thanksgiving 1995 yeah like he gave himself a five-year deadline that like oh yeah he wrote a 10 million check he was like oh, 10 million check for like acting service rendered so like he gave himself a deadline to be where he wanted to be. And like every day he would look at that 10 million check and remind himself that, oh yeah, I have to be this actor. I have to be this multimillionaire actor. Then six months before Thanksgiving, 1995, he got like, he got 10 million for, Dumb what Dumb film Dumb. was it? I think it's Dumb and Dumb. Dumb and Dumb, yeah. Or yeah, but like he got the 10 million check six months before. So that's just what the law of attraction does. Yeah. Like you have to think and believe it. And obviously like he can think, like you can think that you can be wherever you want to be but if you're not putting in the work it's not going to work it's one thing thinking and believing yeah, it yeah, but yeah. you have to put the work in like mm-hmm. he says like you can't just believe that you're going to be something then eat a sandwich and do nothing yeah like 100%. you have to work like you know 100 percent. I, I i agree with that message yeah and um i'm sure everybody like you probably believe this too and you believe it like it's just law of attraction, it, yeah. law of attraction it's just there's no way of avoiding it you know everybody yeah. wants something everybody's like the thing people don't understand is like every being every human being has an energetic field so how you think and how you think is what you attract so if you're thinking negative negative circumstances are going to happen in your life if you're thinking positive positive circumstances are going to happen in your life like if you're going into an exam and you're thinking oh i didn't prepare for this i didn't study and all that like you're gonna fail it because you're thinking negatively you never know how the exam is gonna go like you're just like down yourself before you even start it that's the thing people doubt themselves before they even do something yeah like do you you think there's a correlation between the way people think you know people thinking negatively and like the actual lack of physical work that they're putting into it if you know what i mean like yeah because like yeah the reason why people think negatively because obviously they're not putting in the work as well but at the same time, I think most of our, our negative thinking comes from like probably like pre-existing circumstances. Like let's say like our parents, like for okay. example, teachers, parents, you know, football coaches. I don't know who it is in their past. Like for me, like it's probably teachers. Like I remember, well, I did give them a reason why not for them not to believe me because I remember like in secondary school, I used to, I used to mess. I got suspended yeah. many times in secondary school. Like, I just wasn't shown that I was interested in secondary school, but I was mm-hmm. intelligent. I was yeah. very intelligent. Like, my grades were there. It's just that, like, I wasn't, like, a good student in school. Part of, you, part of, part of your heart just wasn't in it. Yeah, you know? yeah. And but at the same time, like, I believe in myself. I knew I was going to get into university, like, yeah. easily. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just uh, suspected of myself. I didn't see it as, like, a, a goal, thing. a big yeah. deal. Like, it's just expected, you know. It's like, well, you want new shoes, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get it. I want to go to university. I'm gonna get it. That's the way I see it. Like it's just expected of me. I have high expectations of myself. I believe that, like, whatever I put my he- heart and soul into, I'm gonna be the best at it. 
there's no one that's gonna be better than me and like i'm gonna work harder than anyone like maybe if i'm not better than the person on it i know that i tried my best i worked yeah. hard i'm ambition, just bro. yeah exactly it's all i think it's all about being ambitious if ambitious you, if yeah. you're an ambitious person you there's, there's nothing that can get in your way you know? exactly yeah. Yeah. just fucking be determined to what it is you want to achieve yeah. and like everything else it's it's the thrill of the chase rather yeah. than the actual thing catch, you get at the end get. the catch yeah. yeah so it's it's an interesting topic yeah it's yeah. funny it's yeah. like a lot of shit that, yeah. that applies to isn't it i mean yeah. like with and i guess like relationships even you could say the thrill yeah. of the chase i mean f- f- not for every case obviously for a lot of like no like, like relationships flames, like you know? even the relationship that i'm in with my girlfriend now like i remember like the first time me and her I was like, I was just like, I was gobsmacked, man. Like, I'm mm. genuinely speaking, she's the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life. Mm. And when I seen that, I was like, I don't have a chance. <laughs> but I was like, I, yeah, I literally just told myself, I was like, I don't have a chance. Like, yeah. she's like, yeah. she's not in my league, you know. But like, you no, know, I actually like, I know it just sounds deep and all that. Yeah, sounds yeah, a bit no, like cringy or whatever. Good, but like, I remember like, I went home and like, I actually genuinely like, just, I was just like looking at myself. And I was like, there's nothing wrong with me. Why am I telling myself? Why can't I not talk to this girl? Yeah. Like, I'm a confident person. Why why am I feeling like awkward and shy to talk to this girl? She's a human being. Yeah. She's no one else, like you know what I mean? Then like it's it's yeah. fear. It's just I th- fear. I think like, it's fear. And on the other side of, and on the other side of fear is greatness. Like Will Smith. Like, Will Smith, for example, there's a goal cast that Will Smith made and like he talked about um the point. The point of minimum fear is no, the point of maximum danger right is before. the point of minimum fear. Yeah. So like at the other side of terror is usually what it's usually what we need is at the other side of terror yeah if if that makes sense it's bliss like yeah like let's say you're in a job yeah you're in a job and you want to like a pay rise but like people are afraid to talk to a supervisor or manager let's say if you're putting in the work and you feel that you're not being credited on the work that you do people are afraid to talk to the manager and supervisor because like i don't know they're just insecure yeah. they're like oh i don't want any confrontation they're just afraid to speak up their mind but that um that pay rise that promotion is behind talking to that supervisor manager if that makes sense yeah. like you're not gonna get that promotion or pay rise while talking to the manager or the supervisor while making that confrontation yeah so yeah like literally at the other side of terror as well it's, yeah it's where the greatness is like you know it's so true people people have yeah. to realize that you have to like just jump out of your comfort zone oh, yeah you know because like in society today like loads of people are insecure like i think insecurity is a big thing in society especially in like teenagers like people come and like make eye contact anymore yeah. they find that as like a big deal to make eye contact like people you see people walk around with their heads down like raise your shoulders open you look up when you're walking like walk yeah. with like confidence you know what mm. i mean like it's not a big deal it's really not a big deal yeah. people make a big deal yeah like, no, it's definitely not. definitely and that's when i first like i met you before you came in here once with uh, jlol and he was doing an interview with this girl and Jay, Back uh, then. he's the goal. I just yeah. have to say, I just have to mention, he's the goal. And yeah. the Irish music scene right now, he's the greatest <laughs> of what he's doing yeah, right actually, now. Man, he's doing literally, bits, he's, you know. Yeah, and it's good to surround yourself with people like that. Yeah, like I remember, that, yeah. I met you, and I was like, back then, I, we were just starting out the podcast, mm. and I was just trying to find other people who were on the same little vibe, like doing bits, you know, yeah. just doing what you kind of want to do, you know. And I got chatting to you, and this is just for people who might not know the story. And then the other day, um, I just messaged you. We, we were great, trying man. to. We, the thing is, we yeah. were tr- we've been trying to meet up for ages. Like, yeah. but the other day, it just we ha- we met up and it just Clint. positive energy I felt yeah. off you, and it's it's important to reshare that positivity in a yeah. sense. You know, like just if you know that it's a real thing, like energy, like energy, energy. does flow through things and through people. Like even texting people on social media, definitely, you can feel energy. You know, literally, yeah. Like a story with you. Like I remember you asked like. I remember, you remember the first time we, I met you and like, I think two months went by and like, in them two months, I felt isolated. I felt like nobody, like, I felt isolated in terms of like, oh yeah, I was working, I was working like towards my goals and like education wise, like I'm still in college as well. Yeah. I was like, I was just working towards like, you know, my future and like goals that I want to do. Like a deg- my degree is still a goal. Like I don't yeah. build that off. Like it's still something I want to achieve, even though like I have higher expectations of myself. I want like, to achieve more like my college degree isn't gonna define who i am like my college degree has known to what i want to be nothing whatsoever mm. but like yeah i remember like yeah two months from when i first met you and like 
no one like I felt like no one was checking up on me or nothing like that. Not that I cared, yeah, yeah, yeah. but at the same time, it would be nice like someone just saying. I remember he texted me saying, "Oh, what's up, bro? I haven't heard yeah, I haven't yeah. heard from you from a long time." Mm-hmm. That was just like I was like, "Oh yeah, how's things going? I used to work and on like." and this stuff remember the yeah, stuff i talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. yeah and i was like yeah, yeah man i appreciate you like checking up like i really i really like that because like you know i felt the positive vibes from that so yeah it's just like yeah but it's so cool you. it's so cool that now you're doing it because even the other day mm. you were telling me about like inspiration as well inspiration. people are too afraid of talking about who inspires them like yeah. just if you spend most of your time watching these people analyzing how they work you know mm picking at their brain even though you're doing it through a social media screen or watching videos or whatever yeah but if you're doing this all the time why not actually speak out about your inspiration you know yeah like a lot of people inspire me That's and cool. i think it's important for people to just accept that accept. inspiration is a real thing yeah like and yeah probably the person who inspires me the most like right now because like my next venture is going to be like shoe customization yeah. So like I'm gonna be customizing shoes like Nike Air Forces, yeah. Air Maxes, Alexander McQueen's. Not not just like ordinary Nike trainers. Like we're gonna like even yeah. high designer brands. You know I'm not yeah. stopping. I'm not limiting myself to just like Air Forces and whatever and Converse and Vans. Like anything and everything. Like I'm going for. But like yeah, one person right now who's destroying the scene right now is Steel May. Like mm. he's like probably my biggest inspiration right now. He's this. He set the standard for what I want to do right now. Like Steel May is definitely the standard right now in yeah. terms of like shoe customization. Yeah. Work like globally. Yeah. This guy's worked worked with Jay Balvin. Do you know who Jay Balvin yeah, yeah, is? Yeah. Like this guy's top he's ten. Got like he's top million, ten. Yeah, top ten on the Billboard. Yeah. Like and this guy customized a pair of trainers from. He's worked Jeez. for like AJ Tracy, a UK grime artist. Mm. So I listen to a lot. One of my favorites, favorite favorite yeah. artists at the moment, Notes as well. Another one of my favorite yeah, artists. Notes, like this yeah. guy, this guy is like in our city doing yeah. this stuff, and like people yeah. don't recognize the greatness. Yeah, like it is greatness. But it look, is. Kit, we're gonna meet up with him. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. I said that. Yeah. We're gonna like it'd be cool to meet up with the guy. Yeah, now. definitely. Yeah, like I'll definitely love to talk to this guy yeah, because yeah. like he's at a standard where I want to be with yeah. like this shoe customization. I definitely want to be. He set the part and like it's up to me to like match that part. Yeah. Like I'm not what well, not uh, I'm not um, I'm not trying to like you know like trying to say I'm better than him or yeah. I'm going to do things better than him. Yeah. But I'm just trying to say that like he's the standard and like you're inspired. By I'm inspired by yeah. it and like I feel the urge to like do better. Like that's how the economy grows. The economy grows through competition. It's legacy, you know? bro. You know? It's, it's almost legacy, like exactly. it, he will eventually have to pass the torch on to somebody. Exactly. And everybody's got to realize that they have like their time to start something and then mm. a time has to come where they have to pass the torch on but the thing is he's just started <laughs> he's oh, only like i think he's only like two years in the customization and game he's right already now. fucking it up like yeah he's literally he's fucking it up like yeah like there's no limits with him at the moment yeah. the way i see it like i don't know him personally but like looking at his work mm. and stuff don't, it's crazy don't set limits though yeah exactly uh, limits are fucking exactly exactly it's, it's a boundary to creative Great, greatness yeah you know what you think mm. Jogan are we just chatting no no no, no. <laughs> I'm just I'm just uh, I'm just sick and quiet my voice sounds like shit so I don't wanna don't wanna ruin the flow uh, but um my voice is terrible so uh, <laughs> no, no, I, you're doing pretty great don't worry about it <laughs> I was gonna ask um do you guys think in terms of inspiration like we're having a lot of talk about inspiration we do a lot of that stuff here you know not inspiring people but being inspired mm. and um a lot of the time I feel like uh especially when you're younger inspiration is almost subconscious you know like you pick these things up like left right and center without really realizing it you know like if you're an artist especially like creatively um the art you're exposed to um without you realizing it you know you don't have to like obviously if you're trying to learn something real quick you're trying to get really good really fast like you focus yeah. like what mccullough was saying you know like you pick a pick somebody who's who's the standard set the par and then you like try to be as good as them yeah then you get better you know yeah but like i feel like um a lot of inspiration especially a lot of like developing your own style is so subconscious sense, yeah. you know like you're looking around at the world around you like stupid little things like i'll look at that fucking corner of that window over there i'm like that guy looks cool you know yeah, and that's yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. like the <laughs> that's like the keynote you know for designing like a concept piece yeah. of like something completely unrelated like you're fucking drawing mm. a spaceship it's like that little window piece over there yeah that looks kind of cool look at it. check it out that's actually you fucking know? cool there you go yeah. look she somebody, actually, yeah. somebody yeah. had to sit down and uh design that but um 
fucking crazy. Yeah, I just think it's wacky. <laughs> I just think it's wacky like that. Because you don't realize until you take a step back a lot of the time. Like, I'm not the kind of person um, a lot of the time when I'm doing, like, I do a lot of art, you know, do a lot of drawing, yeah. do a lot of, um, uh, like, work with music. I'm not the kind of person who directly looks for influence. But then when I look back at my shit, I'm like, wow, that sounds really like that, yeah. which I listen to a lot. And that makes perfect sense because mm. you pick up all these little notes. Influence can come from within. Yeah. It doesn't, all, it oh, doesn't necessarily shit, have yeah, to be definitely. from like uh, an external fact, uh, it's, external person. Like it's, it's, it's like come, a remix, really. Yeah. You know? Um, that's, like, that's another thing, actually. Like Sometimes I amaze myself at things I, mm. I thought I couldn't do. Like I've done it. Yeah. Like inspiration comes from within as well. Like people kind of underestimate themselves. People don't understand that every individual person has a seed of greatness and it's up to you to yeah. exploit it or not mm. that's why there's a saying that well the graveyard is like the richest place on earth mm. because like that's where so many ideas concepts innovations are, are it's all in the graveyard but they died with their dream because like well yeah. they never like took the opportunity to exploit it like they just died with their dreams mm. and that's that's a phobia of <laughs> that's like that's a, a strong fault of phobia of me. Like, yeah, I think it's a fault of society. Though, oh, yeah, people, like, people are fucking too. I don't. I think they're too scared to be themselves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, exactly. Just be yourself. Like even all the people watching right now, I just want to just be yourself. Like be do yourself, whatever yeah. the fuck you want to do. do. You know what? Right. You know, there's a funny thing. Like people are afraid to be themselves. Yeah. Like there's no question about that, and it would be a neat naive almost to say that um, everyone isn't themselves. For one reason, you know what mm. I mean? Like, like society is the reason or like yeah. this and that. Because like, at the end of the day, like society is a system and nobody has any control yeah. over that mm. system. It's just a lot of beings communicating it's a lot with of each individuals. other, bumping mm. into each other. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So like, yeah, like society is an expression of the human condition, you know, uh, and the time period and mm. just the progression of fucking whatever. <laughs> but um, the thing is, right? I mean, like, as I said, there's a lot of different reasons people might be afraid to express themselves. You know, like some sometimes it's scary to to express yourself mm. or to be who you really are because people might not like that. It's that fear yeah. we were talking. About. Fear, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's the fear because, like, I think there's a certain vulnerability in putting yourself tr- truly yeah, being yourself. You're not like because you're setting yourself apart from other people. Yeah, like you're in a league of your own. You're exactly. not like no another person's being you. Yeah, if exactly. you know what I mean. Mm. So like people are afraid of that. People are afraid of like, you know, stepping away from the crowd. Yeah, people because like you're, you're just by yourself, you're vulnerable, like you get yeah. me? Like Yeah. 100%. So another thing I feel is people get too self-conscious. Mm. People people are too scared of what people are other people are thinking about. Think about them. Yeah. Mm. Like when you people might think, what they think you, in your own head, Literally. it's like people think I'm crazy, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, people do think I'm crazy. People think I'm doing fucking... I tell you a story, like, I remember when I first told my dad about, whoa, well, I want to start customizing shoes. Yeah. He was like, hey, Mecca, are you stupid? Why'd you want to... <laughs> <laughs> why'd you want to draw on your shoes? Like, he basically said, why are you drawing on your shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, the first pair I ever designed were Air Forces. And, like, he was like, why did you draw on a pair of, like, 100 year old shoes? <laughs> Is there something wrong yeah, with you? you. Yeah. That was like... People don't like see the bigger picture. He doesn't see the bigger picture. Like, yeah. my, I don't blame. I don't blame him. He still sure supports, supports me. You. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't blame him because like he came from obviously like a very difficult mm. like situation, mm. and like he thinks education is a safe path. Like he just wants like he wants the best for me, but at the same time like he doesn't want me to risk anything yeah. because yeah. he took so many risks to be where he is right now, mm. and like he doesn't want me to go through that. But he doesn't understand that like I want. I want greatness for myself yeah. and like I'm ready to take our risk like I'm ready to like troll the cards like on the table yeah. cause like that's who I am like I'm ready to like lose everything to like but wouldn't you would you, where I would you be say like. that like this greatness that yeah. you aspire like just, you aspire to be great yeah. would you say that came from your roots like a lot of people are too scared to talk yeah, about kinda, this you know kinda, people, yeah. are, people, are, people think oh if they know my, my background story they'll they'll i'll be an outcast you know they'll exclude me everything but if you actually think about it sometimes if you sit down and think about it think of where you came from think of where your family came from think where exactly. your roots go yeah. and then think of where you are now like i personally believe that like us right now we are the most like updated version of our family roots yeah literally. you get me that go deep 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 into the earth that's definitely true definitely. and i think it's it's important for us to n- not be ashamed of who we really yeah, are yeah and speak with pride about it 
you yeah. know and that's when you really do get greatness and that's yeah. why so many people are afraid of talking about like mm. for example my, my parents came from ukraine mm. and they came to ireland to in order for a be- to have a better yeah, life yeah. for their children and that's the same for us everybody wants a better life for their children yeah. no matter where you came from where you came from down the country or whether you came from Everyone like a rough yeah. part of dublin or something Definitely. everybody just wants greatness not only for themselves but for the people around them and for their children mm. but like everyone has different definition of greatness yeah. like my dad the definition of greatness is like getting a degree getting a degree getting a mortgage and that's it mm. <laughs> life but is it's, it's, i think it's life is much bigger more yeah. bigger than like yeah. working a nine to five paying a mortgage well yeah coming home maybe they from nine yeah. to five I like i'm telling like myself now i'm not working a nine to five again god forbid i can't I'm, do that i can't do a nine to five man i don't think i can do a lot of nine to five i can't work. no i'm but not doing it i can't no. I, I refuse like, 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 i refuse to do that you know sweet fucking <laughs> let's go you refuse to do that refuse to do nine he's already started on the path good man fucking um, it just fucks with you if you don't think mm. that it's for you like back in the day it was the way for people yeah it was the way to greatness. it's just a safe room yeah. like it's just like what the safest room possible of like having a comfortable life not having yeah. a great life a comfortable average life a yeah. mediocre life that's what it is the nine to five it's just a comfortable life but, but it's up to us to realize that there's greatness beyond that exactly because yeah. no no great innovation or great ideas came from working a nine to five mm. <laughs> like mm. if you can name me one like and one even innovation y- that came from working on nine to five like i'll keep my mouth shut i walk out the studio you know i got my bags take the 27 back to tyler like i won't say nothing again like <laughs> it, it really you? does depend on the field you work in like if you work in a if you work in a pharmaceutical plant nine yeah. To five, yeah. That yeah but that's even like yeah even like if you work in a pharmaceutical and you work on nine to five yeah. and like you're trying to like well find a new um, a new drugs, medicine like, or something yeah, like that yeah. like I think it could be more than 9 to 5 you have to pull in like at a certain stage I think you'd be working more than a 9 to 5 you probably would you, you more honest. like yeah you because would. like yeah, it's a tense of research that you're doing into yeah. like the to finding like the yeah. cure for like a disease so oh, yeah, you might we, we got technical yeah. difficulties <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you're dead right. It actually is. It actually yeah. is. So at one stage of your life, like, you're, there's definitely going to be, like, you're definitely going to be working more than 9 to 5. Yeah. You're probably going to be working more, like, 80 hours a week oh, onto something. But it's, it's funny, like, because working 9 to 5, like, if you're work just steady job, you probably are going to just stay working 9 to 5 mm. in that mm. steady job. Exactly. But there are people, you know, like, um, really ambitious people in a 9 to 5 will climb the ladder very quickly because exactly. they'll be prepared to put in more much work. more work yeah, exactly. and eventually that 9 to 5 starts to decrease so they'll yeah. only be working like well probably yeah, be a max of 12 hours a week so like are, at one stage you're going to be like working a lot more hours than a 9 to 5 yeah. mm. but it's to like decrease later yeah. on you know what I mean exactly. to have a better it's the grind yeah exactly that's all it is it's that's all it is um, if, you're, if process, you're not willing like, to put in that hard, that's exactly what yeah. you said though what's what's the law of attraction it's belief belief wait think, think belief think and believe, manifest. manifest that's yeah. all it is manifestation, and that manifestation yeah. is grinding exactly it doesn't matter how much hours you have to put in like if you exactly. have to wake up like recently i made a timetable for myself like a little a daily planner yeah mm-hmm. and the only thing i have in it is the time i want to sleep like i made this thing and i couldn't finish it because i had to run off but mm-hmm. all it has in it is just sleep and that's all it is if you just get your eight hours of sleep in or seven or whatever whatever suits people i think hours of sleep ranges for everyone yeah, yeah. But but i think like um if you I'll get that in and if you just use the rest of that time to do to manifest to grind to do be put in the hard work, work. that you are determined will lead you to greatness right. that's true. you know and um another thing is i think a lot of people suffer from like decision making fatigue so like decision making fatigue is like you know like let's say let's say like you're meant to like be grind you're meant to like do you're meant to be putting in the work mm. but like you're just exhausted from like you're spending things you're spending unnecessary time on things that you're not meant to be doing yeah. like you waking up yeah and like checking social media for like 15 minutes first thing when you wake up like you're killing valuable time that's why the likes of like steve jobs and mark zuckerberg they wear the same shirt for like days for months i never seen steve jobs without that black turtleneck yeah. when you like when he was alive you know why because like they don't want to um waste Trust they don't want to waste their time like choosing on yeah. certain things because it's called like every human every human like there's only like a certain amount of like decisions right correct decisions we can make in a day that's why surgeons and doctors in the hospital they assess um they assess like their timetable when they make errors 
because like every doctor and like surgeons and stuff like that sometimes there's like hours in the day that they make certain errors so they assess that to see what suits them that's why some surgeons work during the mor- morning and some work in the night yeah. they don't work like a lot of hours surgeons and doctors because like the decision making is like like it's critical yeah. so like yeah so they have to save like it's pretty much like they don't want to like um because people are aware of like decision making fatigue like you can only make like a certain amount of correct choices during the day so that's yeah. why like it's up to you to assess when you work best during the day if yeah. that makes sense you know yeah 100 yeah. percent. You, yeah. you do burn yourself out i yeah. suppose like working too hard too long exactly balance um, all you need is not, balance not you need balance clever you know yeah um, like i like working during the night because everyone's asleep no one's there mm-hmm. to distract you yeah you know oh, that's a big like so my brain is sharp true, man. That's so my true. brain is sharp like think of it no like no one's gonna be disturbing you no one's gonna be saying oh yeah you're coming out for a drink or something like that mm-hmm. everyone's asleep yeah, yeah. your comparator is asleep That's your friends last... are asleep yeah, yeah, everyone's yeah. asleep no one's there to distract you it's just you and your brain even, and your yeah. imagination put the work in like that is so true even yeah. on social media you ain't got nobody to text yeah exactly nobody nobody's gonna text you what like three o'clock in the morning unless yeah. if they're like horny or something but <laughs> 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 yeah no. no i swear because the last few nights i've been up to like four or five a.m yeah just uh, thinking bro literally just think i don't know i have them like i have them nights where i remember i, text, I texted you actually yeah talk about not distracting people at night or so i remember texting mccola like i watch three o'clock and we were just talking about our ambitions and stuff yeah. like that like at that like in them hours of the day that's when like my my mind is just like it's everywhere it's just, yeah. <laughs> that's my so mind true. is just that's everywhere so yeah though. My mind is literally everywhere. I'm just constantly thinking about my future, my ambitions, my goals, how I'm going to get the A to Z. Just like plotting. Mm. That's like my hours where I plot. Then during the day, that's when like I you do manifest. the work. Yeah, exactly. I manifest exactly. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's good, man. That's fucking like that. sweet. Yeah. So you believe, you think, you, think, you believe, believe, and then you manifest during yeah. the day. Yeah. And that's what I've been putting in little naps as well during the day. So. Yeah. Power naps. Like it that. helps, bro. Yeah, that shit is powerful, It does. Man. It does. I slept into like half past three today. <laughs> it's because I got fuck all to do. Like I am yeah. in, I am in charge of what like, I want to do, bro. Yeah. You know, like working is tough, but yeah. some people do just have to get that money. Just you know? a, yeah, raise capital. It's a like, grind. You know. But man, once I think once people get full control of their own time, that's when mm. greatness. Exactly. Is, like, and their emotions and all. Yeah. Like there's a thin line of enjoying your youth and fucking up your future. People don't realize yeah. that people act on emotional impulses. Yeah. People like if I text you saying, Oh yeah, I wanna go out for a drink, people like your your emotional impulse, yeah, like it's just like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna go. But like you shouldn't go. Like if you know you have like an Shit exam the next day or mm. stuff to do, like you should think of about the long term, like yeah, you no, know? big time. There's balance, like you can. I'm not saying what well, stay at home 24 seven, grind your ass off 24 seven. Yeah, like obviously you need breaks, you need time to socialize, yeah. you need time to just you know, relax, like just relax your hundred percent. Yeah, man. but do what you want to do sometimes. Yeah, but you? always just be aware of like there's a very very thin line of like Yo, fucking yeah. up your future. Big you time, know? big time. That's so and true. And enjoying your you. Yeah. because like that's something that i always like think of i'm only 19 as well yeah. like obviously people my age will go clubbing like on every thursday night college night i want to like sometimes i want to go around stuff like that i'd want to do shit like this like yeah you know? I, I made a promise to myself that i'm not more going clubbing i'm not my parent you no know, more until like until there's a certain goal that i want to achieve and like i'm not i'm not parent i'm not clubbing until like that's my first my next party is gonna be like celebrating a major success achieving one of my goals that's like that's my next period I'm going to. That's the next club and event I'm going to when I achieve that. Until then, I'm just gonna like keep on working. Yeah. You and know? I respect that man. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking respectable. It's crazy. I mean um <laughs> <laughs> We are chatting. It's not for everyone. Age. I'm not saying what copy me or something like that. It's not for everyone, but that's everyone, my way of disciplining yeah. myself. Like, that works. It's that's really inspiring. You know? I mean like re- rewarding yourself it is, for success. Exactly. Um and trust me, when that day comes, man, I'm gonna fire hard, you know. Oh, I don't doubt yeah, it. Definitely. I don't doubt definitely. it. At all. Um, definitely. It's funny, like, in terms of success, um, how uh, you define success? Success, like, it, it's different to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, it's different to That's everyone. I think, I think, in general, success should be. It should be like success is like doing something that you love and like. Mm. My definition of success could be different to yours, but my definition, I'm saying my definition because 
you obviously have different definition of success yeah. but my definition of success is like doing something that you love and you're making an income from it no, yeah that's my that's my definition of success i i think it's funny like i think mm. the path people take in life probably depends upon their definition of success Success, exactly in some people definition of success is to like make as much money as possible yeah. for even though m- they might not be doing something that they love yeah. and that's what that's what's gonna lead to like you never being like find and being fulfilled with yourself yeah maybe You're, yeah it's always goes yeah. just gonna lead to like um a state of unfulfillment mm-hmm. that's why i think you should define you should find what you really love then work towards it rather than like doing something that you may not necessarily like but you're making more money from yeah. it because like all the materialistic things that we want like one day we're just not going to want it anymore and want to upgrade we we'll keep on constantly want to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade yeah. that shouldn't be the goal success should be oh yeah i want a mercedes she wagon or i want a lamborghini that shouldn't be the goal that should just be like you know factors things to motivate you but like the goal is like let's say the career that you want let's say if you want to be an entrepreneur let's say if you want like 10 million in your portfolio or whatever that should be the goal and like the mercedes the lamborghini that's just like the benefits of it yeah. of Bene- your work benefits in kind you know yeah, yeah that's, that's gonna like I, I you achieving that 10 million portfolio that's what's gonna give you fulfillment not like yeah. the mercedes she wagon it will give don't get me wrong the mercedes and the lamborghini will like make you feel fulfilled but not it's just temporary not but permanent yeah isn't it similar to that whole thing that you're saying like you're not gonna party till you fulfill a goal yeah exactly that's what it is having, yeah. a, having a g-wagon is just a little party yeah. you know yeah <laughs> and yeah that's what um i define success as fulfillment yeah so like if fulfillment you, whatever makes you fulfilled that's yeah, success that's success like i then that's I, I feel it's important to have purpose that's what only yeah. recently i found purpose purpose and it's important as fuck because without it you're lost you're just mm. a you're, you're a stray not. dog you know and once you once you find that and then once you really know because that's what it's always been hard for me to answer such a question like when mm. you just ask what what do you define success as but yeah. now that you kind of once you have purpose it's mm-hmm. easy to define it because exactly it's, you know where to work toward yeah it's what you ultimately want like fulfilled. and i think um most of us had like for the people that don't know their purpose in life like you did like it's just that you know what it is but the thing is like you had people to tell you that you can't become them things think of it when we're like children when we're children we want to be astronauts we wanted to be um fucking firefighters we want to be like air pilots anything our imagination was loose like we want to be so many things like we didn't limit ourselves like if we saw someone in television that looked cool to us we wanted to be that thing yeah. we didn't say that oh we didn't say that oh you can't get you can't get a good salary from that we didn't say things that oh you're not gonna be able to feed your family from doing them things that mm. never came across our mind when we we're children but like why is it why is it now it's coming across our minds because like just us limiting ourselves listening to people that haven't done it tell us like you can't do it either yeah yeah that's what that's what happens like you know oh it's a funny thing i mean like uh it, you would have to be some kind of superhuman to be able to do everything you know what i mean like mm. there is there is there is a limit to what people limit can do it. it's sad it's but it's a sad truth in the yeah. some there are some things that some people will never do i'll never be a singer clearly <laughs> you know um and like i'll never be a fucking astrophysicist either either because that's because you don't I want to no it's because i have a fucking i can't do it i literally can't do it I, I but what do you what do you want to be you know what, what, I mean? what what do you um, what's your purpose what is my purpose yeah do you have a purpose i have too many purposes too many purposes well that's not a bad thing my purpose my purpose Mikola, is to uh i'm not gonna say it oh shit <laughs> never mind i had a funny thing to say but i'm not gonna say it um yeah <laughs> i don't know look to be honest there is no one purpose mm. because it's like you said you find one thing and you want another like yeah. my purpose my purpose as a human being my base purpose is to find you know uh, is to survive but then i guess <laughs> go Shit, go go, yeah. go a level up from that and then <laughs> i want to you know do something that i have some interest in sure. i fucking uh, love truth i want to fucking pursue the truth and there are many fucking mediums through which you can do that. Like mm. I'm interested in writing, I'm interested in creative um, uh, concepts, you know, um, design, music, and like you can say, what's the end game for all that? And I couldn't tell you because nobody could tell you. Anyone mm. could tell anyone who could tell you what they're really looking for 
under all the things that they're doing is a liar because nobody knows. Mm. It's a great mystery of our time. There you go. That's crazy. That's, my yeah, good insight, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Any, anyone else? <laughs> anyone you? Else? <laughs> Hitting down the coffin there. <laughs> all right, but yeah, that's that's crazy. Like, because purpose is key like that's yeah. what i feel like i found purpose recently like i might as well talk about it yeah. yeah so like i feel like i found a way to encourage people to get educated again mm. you know like education is dying in the current state that it's in mm. like people hate it ask anybody do you <laughs> like college <laughs> no. No. Do you like college nobody <laughs> fucking likes yeah. college yeah why why not because like we're probably not doing things that we want to be d- yeah what to be exactly doing, like, you know because of you have to be passionate it's the passion bro yeah exactly so that's what we're trying to do like me and my brother we're trying to build a team i think we found a team already but we're just going to try we're going to try so study.ie is what it's going to be and we're going to try jeez i've said we're going to try so many times now. <laughs> we're going to try empower empower teachers to teach whatever they like to, to truly teach out of their hearts mm. and we're going to connect those teachers with passionate learners mm. and we're going to we're going to start off in ireland and maybe see wow. how it goes because there's so many people who can teach you anything now you can teach exactly. people shit like what would you be able to teach someone something designing yeah. shoes of course Design, yeah of course uh, yeah. that just even like thoughts of like what we're talking about now law of attraction yeah. that's something that's very teachable like that's something that everyone should know yeah. because like it's a principle of life that everyone should like abide because like that's how we actually find the things that we want to yeah. do in life that's how we find purpose in life Um yeah you're saying like is is there things that i'd like to teach yeah like even that you know that's already powerful yeah even that just like one thing i like to teach is like probably like self-love because i don't think people love themselves like in terms of like people mistake self-love with arrogance Mm. like being arrogant is like thinking that you're better than everyone you're you're better than everyone like there's no one like can compared can be compared to you. You just think that like you're superior to everyone. Mm. That's like arrogance, but like being like you know, like that's arrogance. But like you know, just like having self love is just like knowing that you're different to everyone. If that makes sense, like you're not putting yourself above anyone, but you know knowing that like you are different because you are. We all are different, like in our own ways that we think, how we look. Every there's loads of factors that like defines like that shows our difference to other people but like yeah like people need to like know the two differences between being arrogant you know and like self-love but yeah people like people really need to like actually love themselves more yeah. because like it's evidence that like people are becoming more insecure but it, as the day goes like people are just finding more reasons yeah. to be insecure about they I'm, I'm realizing that's the underlying factor of yeah. what we're talking about like yeah you know yeah so because people like, don't love themselves because mm. there's no self-love in society anymore people are, are doing stuff that it's they want to do to satisfy other people exactly you satisfy know. yourself exactly satisfy <laughs> the soul man satisfy <laughs> find that drive like within you you know and yeah it's just it's interesting because like it's really a really interesting factor because i don't know we all we all started out to like loving ourselves and stuff like i don't know where i what age or like at what stage where we just stopped thinking thinking like that you know like i really don't and like yeah like i don't know people just need to like start saying positive affirmations to themselves you know know when it started it started when there was this access to information yeah social media to other people i think that's the underlying social media i say is a big thing when it comes and to that's that stuff, but people compare themselves to other people. It's fucking, it's toxic. Com- mm, especially like girls, like if you, girls really, really like compare themselves to like other t- like other people on like social media, like the likes of Kim Kardashian and stuff like that, yeah. looking at our body and stuff, and they don't understand that. It's like, not good. Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah. What do you think, Chogun? Uh, yeah, like obviously that's not good. Like you shouldn't compare your, you shouldn't compare things you can't change. Exactly. To other people, that's just, that is so pointless. You're just gonna drive yourself into a hole. But mm. like, I guess there's, there's, you know, comparisons are odious, as Oscar Wilde said. But I would say that if you want to get really good at something, don't compare yourself to the mediocre. Compare yourself to the best. True. Because if Mentors. you compare yourself to the people that are below you, you'll always think you're fantastic. Mm. But That's if you compare true. yourself to That's the people where inspiration above you, comes in, bro. Yeah. <laughs> if you compare yourself to the people above you, then you mm. know where you really are yeah because yeah. that's the definitely 
that's the that's goal. A, yeah. Uh, so yeah, no comparisons on social media between friends are just stupid. Um, but if you're a fucking tradesman and you're trying to use yeah, it exactly. wisely, yeah, exactly. It's exactly. Be wise, it wisely, you know. Be wise. Like just that's what man. I've deleted. I'm 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 done with Snapchat. Fuck Snapchat. That is a fucking bad app. I think anyway. If <laughs> I think I, I don't what? like Snapchat. Some what? people see the thing is maybe some people like it more than other things. Like the fact that you can see the person, you're kind of like taking a picture. You want to look cute for the person. Nah. Yeah. I deleted it. Like the other day. I think Instagram is worse for. Like, ah, you see, I think Instagram is worse for. What in, with Instagram you have the messaging, so you can send mm. messages to people, mm. and you have the photos. Yeah. So you can literally, you have to put up photos you like and put up photos, like photos that you truly like out of the heart. Yeah. Don't like it because you feel you need to like it. Oh shit, I like this person, I need to like that, you know? Do you think yeah. Instagram is more polished than Snapchat though? Um, I think if, if used, if both apps were to be used wisely, I think Instagram can be used wiser, wi- really? more wisely than Snapchat, yeah. Okay, I mean, I just feel like it's all, it's it's like you said, it's a tool. It's down to how you use it. Like yeah. Snapchat yeah. is fine. Like if you just, like I ain't fucking pretending I'm some model when i'm snapchatting people i'm just sending ugly ass pics from blow oh, my, yeah. blow oh, my that's chin. <laughs> that was it blow my chin like this you know <laughs> yeah. and like that's fucking funny because i yeah. think it's funny taking dumb pictures myself you know yeah. but um yeah like, I don't like know. people live for the gram you know yeah some people some people fucking that's what i mean you know, they, they, have to, they, they, have to yeah. they have to find a perfect angle a perfect line yeah before well, fuck they those people you know that's they take so 100 pictures true. then like they delete it and I'm like oh they just be looking hard. Oh, don't look good in this one. Swiping their phones and stuff. It's just you have to you have to get these tools to act as a ballast. Yeah. If you get me. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly, like yeah. they have to let you. Uh, Everyone so wants for, to just show the people. best version of yeah. themselves on like social media, mm. but like nobody wants to show like the everyday struggles, yeah, like you know, yeah, yeah. the everyday things. Like mm. true, true. They just crazy. want the best version of themselves. If, if you think about display. it, like what the fuck is social media? What are we doing? We you know? are informing the people. That's what we're doing. <laughs> we are. Yeah, no, I understand this, but I mean, what is social media for its own, for its actual, the purpose for which it was designed? Not I just to connect to people. All right, just so look, like this is this is how it this is how it all went down. Yeah. People people felt that they were disconnected from people in real life because they weren't seeing each other enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh shit, let's come up with this thing. We can do it online. We can become social online. Yeah. yeah. Everyone just hopped on the bandwagon. They're like, this is the best. I am seeing this person every day through my screen holy shit some part along the way someone realized we fucked up you know people aren't getting out of their houses people are getting too caught up in their fields people are doing all this shit so see this is where you have to be true to yourself and tell yourself this is not right i am Mm. not using this wisely i am comparing myself to too many people yeah i feel bad most of the time when i'm on snapchat or something i i think i'm enjoying it but i'm not it's a it's a short thrill you get me once you realize that you can use your instagram wise like i've been t- i've been texting people that i've never talked to before mm. you know reaching out saying what's up mm. saying how are you how are you doing like honestly like out of the heart feeling the energy sharing the energy like if you can feel the energy through it then you're doing it right mm. but that's why i think that's what we're trying to do with study.ie mm. so it's not going to be online learning like online yeah. learning is fucking blowing up but it's yeah. still that disconnect you know yeah. mm. so what we're trying to do is trying to get people back out the house get out there go learn something from someone go get mentored by someone go just get out of your comfort zone you know mm. find your passion drive the passion manifest it that's great and that's that's where i think we fucked up with social media mm. that, uh, sorry that was a little rant yeah oh, you're, you're, you're you're right like in that way yeah yeah like social media like posting shit i just think is dumb i'm a i'm like not Ex, you know, I'm not saying I don't do it, but I mean, not a fan of posting, posting, posting shit. Post, no. post, I don't have any pictures of him. Yeah, that's what he was like. I just post up stories and stuff like that. But actually, yeah, I actually generally don't anymore. Like, fuck with that. Like, man. I had, I <laughs> did. Don't get me wrong. I did. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, oh, you oh gotta shit. Do it. You gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, but like, I did obviously have them have pictures on my Instagram for yeah. a while. Then I was just like, I just like, wait a second. Like, what? I just didn't see the need to. I was just like, mm. fuck it. Like, if they want to see me, see me in person, text me, say, oh, yeah, yeah you're coming not. to this, like, invite mm-hmm. me to somewhere if you want to see me. Like, why why do you want to just, like, look, look at my, <laughs> look at me through, like, yeah, a screen, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You want to see me, like, text yeah. me. Text me to see me, like. Yeah, like, that's why I don't, th- I don't have that much problem. That's why. Probably, yeah. Yeah. powerful shit. Like, Snapchat, because if you just text people with it, like. Like, it's an, it's a, it's an incredible tool to stay connected. 
Yeah, mm. that's the thing. Like, yeah. I don't mind that. Like, but it is a tool at the end of the day. And yeah. No tool is good or bad, but people are good and bad. Like, it's like Black Mirror. Do you know why Black Mirror is called Black Mirror? Right. Because a technology is a reflection of humanity. You know, because it's, it's a mirror. Your screen turn off. It's black. It's black mirror. Oh shit. So all the evil the technology creates is us are manifesting our own evil through the technology. Like we oh, create this. Oh shit. Yeah, technology is not yeah, inherently bad. About, you know? People are bad. Or some people yeah. are bad. Yeah. And you know, using That's tools crazy. like that. <laughs> Using tools like that never in told a bad that, way. <laughs> yeah, I actually never told that. There you go. Fucking like we all love Black Mirror. I do know some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like that's it. Crazy. That's that's why it's called that. And it makes perfect sense when you think about it. Because fucking... You like, it's dark as shit, bro. It's dark as shit. <laughs> it is. There you go. It's it the dark as shit. You it know, is. that's why we love it so much. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. But it's behind that darkness that we find true beauty. Oh. <laughs> that was That was wise. <laughs> Wow. We're on a roll today, <laughs> boys. Macola Babby. Quote master. Uh, yeah, shit. That was, that was beautiful. <laughs> That's fucking yeah. scary. You know, Game of Thrones is called Game of Thrones because there's a throne. <laughs> and, and they're fighting for it. There you go. Yeah, that was a great chat, man. How, how far are we in? I think... We're about 45 minutes 45 in. Minutes. Do you want to just leave minutes. here? Like? Yeah, we may as well oh, cut off before before we start like talking about why that pig has two heads and stuff. Yeah, like, like honestly, that was a fucking sweet chat. I think that was perfect. Is that like a little squishy thing? Though? Oh, yeah, watch out. Oh, shit. Be careful. There's actually an There's a it. grenade or so. Oh, there's an L true. Oh, yeah. shit. There's Take a fucking... It's a trap. Macaulay did it. Don't even... Don't even ask. <laughs> I'm trying to kill people, man. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. It's a death ball. Not a stress ball. it back in. Wait for the next guy. What's that? Do you want to say something? No, I don't know who that is. That's some fucking fella. It's Gollum. It's, this is Gollum. It There's pe- Gollum. It's Gollum peak for We got John Lennon. We got Mr. Incredible on the way as well. Yeah. Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible's coming. There you but go. Yeah, thanks so much for coming in, man. Yeah, I man. appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. It was a good, sweet uh, chat. Time and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoyed the year. Yeah. So, yeah, people... I, I'm sure... Man. Listen. <laughs> I think people... People... Just... People... Listen up to me and just <laughs> fucking find your purpose. Find a purpose. Mm, and definitely. just go towards it and people will support you along the way if you definitely. are doing it you just are you attract the people you're that you want people, yeah. you know what i mean yeah. like put in the work you attract like the people that you want the product that you need everything that you need you're mm-hmm. attracted as long as you just put the work believe in yourself and yeah just keep on working towards your goal you no know, no days off no days off man there you go anyway you better fucking abide by that catch us on next time here and <laughs> yeah keep an eye on this guy yeah all relevant links and shit will be in the description (laughs) you guys know where to go and uh peace peace the fuck out